Oklahoma teachers walk out. It's April 2nd, 2018. Front page news in the Oklahoma Today. Ben, a lot of coverage leading up to this event. It's national news as well. Dave Morris alongside Ben Felder from the Oklahoma outside the south steps of the Oklahoma State Capitol. You've been here all morning covering this. A lot of coverage leading up to this event, but who have you spoken with here this morning so far? Yeah, well, we're expecting a crowd maybe north of 30,000, and that crowd continues to build this morning. Shuttle buses are coming in. Teachers from all across the state, nearly 200 schools are expected to be closed today. And teachers say that the theme today is more funding for public schools. A lot of people were saying, hey, you know, teachers got a pay raise last week. That's what they've been asking for. Why is this walkout still going on? And it's true, the legislature uh, passed a, a nearly $6,000 teacher pay raise, uh, but a lot of educators say, hey, that's not enough. We were asking for more public school funding, which has been cut over the last several years. And I don't think we're going to hear much about teacher pay today. In fact, I think the message is going to be, and it has been from the teachers I've talked to, more funding for public schools, more funding for resources in the classroom, for textbooks, for technology, and other things that schools have had to go without over the last decade. As I mentioned, we're on the south steps of the Oklahoma Capitol. It's busy already. Lots of buses moving in students and teachers, or maybe not so many students, but teachers and support staff from across the state to the Capitol. Lots of loud music. Ben, we even heard bagpipes earlier. It's, it's quite the event. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a carnival-like atmosphere as sometimes these events are, although this will be unique. People, if we hit that 30,000 number or close to it, it'll be the largest demonstration we've ever seen at the state capitol. Oklahoma City teachers are actually gathering as we speak at a nearby high school. They're going to be marching to the state capitol. Once again, shuttle buses behind us continue to flow in and out from satellite parking spots. Um, so thousands of teachers are coming in here, a lot of creative signs. Teachers are creative people, and uh, a lot of them are putting that creativity to good use with uh, a lot of the signs that we've seen so far this morning. One of the signs I said said, if you can read this, thank a teacher. One of the teachers also told me when she saw me, said, call your senator today. That seems to be the approach to uh, continue to uh, push that message back. What is the next steps out of this? Well, like I said, educators are looking for more funding for classrooms, and that's going to take more than likely uh, another tax increase or, or multiple tax increases. So we saw last week um, the legislature approved an increase in the gross production tax, oil and gas production tax. Uh, there's a tax on cigarettes and motor fuel. A hotel motel tax uh, looked like it wasn't going to go through. Um, I think there's lots of options on the table, or at least that's what education leaders will tell you. Uh, the capital gains deduction, uh, ball and dice gaming are some options that I've heard thrown out, but you're right. Teachers are not only going to be gathering outside, but many are already going inside to meet with their, their lawmakers. In fact, some lawmakers have signs on their door already saying, hey, I support public education, but this is a lobbying event, and uh, educators are going in and they're trying to push lawmakers to uh, vote in some more revenue increasing measures. And many teachers say, hey, they're going to be here for as many days as it takes. Um, it's the first day, and I say the first day because it seems more than likely that we're going to be here tomorrow and at least the rest of the week if uh, there fails to be any action out of the legislature. There will be people on the stage behind us. Uh, this will kick off here in a few, uh, few hours. We'll have live coverage throughout the day, including updates at 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. I'll be alongside Ben Felder. Follow him on Twitter. He's already had a few uh, video updates. He'll have more text updates throughout the day on Twitter. And we have other reporters out here uh, and across the metro covering the story today. Yeah, we've got a team out across the city, uh, several here at the Capitol. Uh, schools are shut down, so that means you know families are kind of scrambling uh, with their kids for child care or things to do. We've got some reporters at some uh, mobile feeding sites that the uh, school district in Oklahoma City is doing to make sure that a lot of those students that depend on free breakfast and free lunch are still being fed. We've got some reporters at various sites across the city like the zoo and the science museum which are offering special activities as uh, you know thousands of teachers are here and there will be some students but thousands of, or thousands of students across the city and the state um, are out of school today uh, for this walkout. All right, ongoing coverage on NewsOK.com. And if you wonder, how did we get here? Well, there's plenty of coverage, including plenty of primers on today online at NewsOK.com, including past interviews that we've done with various school officials. Again, online on our website at NewsOK and follow social media efforts on Facebook and Twitter. Ben, thanks for your time this morning. Yeah, you bet.